Let's see. He kept the seven. Um, so usually Shardless never plays anything threatening on turn two, unless they have turn one death threat shaman. So I could actually see passing here, but I guess no. Now I'm greedy. I'm just assuming he doesn't have this card. I definitely don't want to draw that. Why am I playing Omnitype? Because he far out with it yesterday. Oh, well, that. Okay, that doesn't look like Shardless. Oh, this is interesting. I have no idea what he's playing. <laughs> but I guess I'm gonna pass and then play end of turn brainstorm shuffle away two show and hers. Yeah, but like him, I don't care too much about him. I think him is one of the worst magic. Like, I seriously believe that him to Taroch is the most overrated card in Legacy these days. Yep. Oh yeah, this could be Food Chain for sure. It actually looks like Food Chain. And also switching from, from Shardless Pack to Food Chain is the easiest of switches. I also kind of don't respect food chain at all, which I probably should, but I, I never really like think that, oh fuck food chain, he's probably gonna kill me like real soon. I, I never think that. That's, <laughs> I don't know why, but that's just me. <laughs> and may, I'm probably wrong about that. Okay, double force and record days. Oh, he got, he had the super bad drop, but. Okay, so if this is food chain, he's not playing shardless agents, which means because Shadow's Agent in today's is like, it, it has been confirmed the worst play in Legacy. It's playing literal hill giant in Legacy. So we only have to beat Force, and he could put an Emrakul, which doesn't matter. There's, there never was a journey, and there's nothing beginning or finished. You will, I'm just playing whatever I like. What's this gonna be? He's sacrificed. Our oh, order! Uh, I have to inform you that this is not working the way you want it. Or oh, this could be the. Oh fuck, he has double force of it. I totally forgot about that. Uh, I was like, yeah, okay, days, and then. Oh no, he has double force of it, of course. I actually have to inform you that this is going to work. So no days, no one catacombs. This could be Iona. Like, Oh no, this can't be Iona. So there has been this deck that plays Painter Servant, Natural Order and Iona, and we've been talking about that, but somebody actually played that. But what I, it's Oh it's it's just Natural Order, Stompy. Grey Ogre, yeah, you're right, Mark. <laughs> My dear, that's a nice, very good comparison. Yeah, Progenitus, but we can totally beat Progenitus, I guess. Okay. It would have been pretty nice had we drawn Omniscience here, because then we could like spare peers, he forces, we spare peers. So we could still dig through time, find Omniscience and City of Traitors and then hope to win of the Impulse. Don't hate that. You could also cast Impulse and dig through time, but then we're not casting anything else. I think I'm gonna cast this. Um, so there's omniscience. And then we just take the 10, I guess.
So next time he can... Next time he can force, but then we force back. Can he like top deck another pitch card? No. Also, we know that one of his cards is a land. Um, you probably take the like the cunning wishes to play that probably wins. So I'm just not super thrilled about this, but I guess it's correct. To just take ten here. Okay, give us ten. Give me ten progenitors. There we go. Okay, if this is all lands, then I screwed up, I guess. Um, show and tell. You can have your armor cursor. So he's forcing. But no, we are forcing. He, he pitched force, right? Yeah. So. He puts an Emrakul, cool, right? Okay. Um, so what's the... Uh, okay, this time I'm actually gonna do it right. I'm gonna get Firemind's Foresight. Where is it? In the sideboard. Now I'm gonna cast this very mighty and powerful spell that has Nif Mizzet on it. Yeah, I don't have a 2. We know that. Uh, I'm gonna brainstorm. Let's just brainstorm. Or I don't need those. Uh, Ah, <laughs> oh, see, it didn't. T it didn't take my click. I clicked something else. It didn't take the click, and then uh, maybe it's my mouse, but it's probably not my mouse. You could hear the click? Uh, uh, okay, that's good. So it's just magic on. So what is he playing? He's actually playing... Turbo Nile Rod. Uh, <laughs> He's playing Turbo Natural Order. I wouldn't be surprised if he actually played like 8 Mana Dorks. And then... He could also play Show and Tell. But he would so lose if he played Show and Tell. Yeah, Progenitus is just like, it's so outdated. It's old technology. I guess I don't hate these. I could also see having the Fluster Storm. Like, he must have some some spicy natural auto target. And if he goes for Shawn he's just gonna lose. Like, like, the matchup seems seriously horrible for him. We could take an. The lightning bolts to counter his green drops, but that's probably not worth it. We'd rather just win. Hmm. Turbo I rot. So taking out a probe. Like I don't really wanna take out a pierce. Yeah, Terra's up. That's actually how it feels. What the birds? Ima can, can you imagine how insane Natural Order would be if it was instant? Like, sure, end of turn, Natural Order. Counterspell, okay, untap, Natural Order again. What? You're killing my guy, respawns Natural Order. Oh, it's Progenitus now. <laughs> I have to cut two. Okay, so maybe Flusterstorm is not good enough. Yeah, 
Maybe another order. Yeah, but another texting probe. Whatever. Oh, there's Bognar. Bognar. Fuck, I love that name. Bognar. I imagine his mother going like, Bognar, did you do your homework? Bognar. And then he's like, Bognar's mother, stop insulting me. And then I stop insulting him. Uh, I have a feeling that show and telling in Emrakul is not the play against him. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm still gonna take it because we'll still eventually just show and tell for something. It's just until we find omniscience, his show and tells are actually still alive. And I have a feeling that show and tell might actually be the only thing that this deck does. Like, there was this deck that used Pattern of Rebirth, but that played black for. For um, Kaba therapy. Okay, now this is really interesting. Like, if he goes to Shantel and we manage to find something in time. Well, right. Wheel right. Wheel right. Did you look that, that, that one up or how would you know? Bognar. Yeah, all of those cards are fine, but I, I really, really want... I guess I could take the probe there. And then shuffle. Yeah, that seems right. Okay, Days Brainstorm Brainstorm and another useless procedure, okay. Snip it! Snip it, snipping it. Okay, so his hand is actually pretty awful. I like that. Um, yeah, we can pass. Eureka? You think it's an Eureka deck? What is he doing there? Impulse. Impulse, Impulse. Oh, the Brainstorm is pretty good for him. So, good by Brainstorm because he gets to shuffle away Besiegeu and, yeah. So I could go for an end of time brainstorm, but just I hate that play. Actually, does end of time brainstorm enable dictal time later on? It does. But I guess it does so almost anyways, yeah, I'm just gonna wait. Okay, so now we have everything, even though this one looks awkward. He probably still has the days, so I'm not gonna try something funny here. It can safely be crossed out functionally. Yeah, I guess. He probably also shuffled it away already. Um, do we even need to keep the Emrakul? I'm really not sure. The thing is, he probably never goes for show and tell at this point. And even if he does, we just win. I think we can safely put away the Emrakul. I'd, ra I'd rather keep the show and tell because if something happens to the show and tell, we still can cast the other one next turn. Which means that it would take away the brainstorm, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm really not sure whether that this, is, this is right, but let's see. I should probably counter as boost points as long as I can, because I'm on or I already am on like the show and tell plan like crazy. Okay, I'm not just gonna show and tell. And if it works, it works, and if it doesn't work, I'm gonna try again next turn. He's like, oh yes, show and tell, I couldn't put in my 10-10 Hydra. Oh oh click? No. Hardcast Ah, force. Okay. That's fine. You go again. I also just realized that I played right into days there, but apparently he doesn't have days anymore. But that could be natural order and then we would die. Actually we wouldn't die. 
Unless he's got something sweet. So I assume he has something sweet. <laughs> That's all he got? Why does he not have days anymore? I really don't want to play into days again. Like, I could brainstorm, hope to find a land, and if I find a city of traitors, I can even spell pierce. He also has a land. And I guess I can just take the tender, it's not like super relevant. This is getting complicated. Guess I don't want to through the breach. Ah, uh, dig through time. I'm just really randomly doing this, by the way. Doing this really randomly. Um, I wouldn't hate finding something that actually matters. Actually, the second take through time isn't there, but I guess I'm gonna shuffle here. I'm more like looking for... Oh yeah, that's actually pretty good. Oh, so he actually had days. What the fuck, man? Why did he not hardcast days? Why did he hardcast force? Well, whatever. I guess because force is more expensive, but force is better later on. Uh, can't cast more than one spell each other. Oh fuck, that actually means the progenitors is gonna race us. Because if he if he show and tell Emrakulin next turn, oh this is this is this is bad. Like if he show in omniscience, so we actually have to show in Emrakul next turn. I guess we can find Emrakul, but now we can't take through time here. Uh, the list is on, on dailymtg.com. It's the list that um, top aided the the GP Kyoto. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just dead un unless I top deck Emrakul cool now. That's awkward. Oh, you're right. Emrakul can't even block. You're right. So there's literally nothing that I could draw. Okay, that was a strange game. I like Arcane, Arcane Laboratory with Progenitors against my deck. It's actually like either Swan either either Cannon Nest, but it doesn't die to Bolt. Maybe he doesn't put it in. Who knows? Shop shop with their advice there. <laughs> Impulse. What does that do? I mean, you're probably just dead here, but... Let's see Impulse. Actually, yeah, you're right. We, we could, like... We could still get there if we draw the Red Blast. If he had drawn the red blast here, we could. Yeah, but I can red blast on, on my opponent's upkeep, and if that resolves, I can kill him with Dixu Time and Cunning Wish. But we don't have red blast. Yeah, not casting anything. Yeah, the thing is, we can only like play Cunning Wish and nothing else. And now we're just dying. Okay, so he's got some sweet technology in the sideboard. Laboratory. Yeah, Pimp Abra, but as you can probably tell, we only had two mana on his turn. And we knew about days, so had we done what you're suggesting, we would have lost. 
<laughs> okay, let's see. Maybe I want the texting probes back in. I don't know whether Philip is currently doing that, but he's probably doing that. I can ask him later on. Can you wish for that red instant that cycles for red and destroys an enchantment? Could you cycle it? Hey, Mortiferous. Um, <laughs> yeah, I also tested lots of random shit for elves. That doesn't. That never really meant that I was approving of the cards I tested. Like, if you really want to test, you play the cards that you think are not good enough. Like, a lot of people are pretty full of themselves and they're like, no, this card is not good enough for my deck. Yeah, but then you're doing it wrong. Especially when you think that a card is not good enough for your deck, you should definitely play it to find out whether you're right or wrong. There's somebody called Balotelli in the chat? Ah, okay, I get it. Um, I kind of wouldn't hate Wipe Away in the main deck, to be honest. Because... Cunning wishing for wipe away is just so slow. But we're even at a point where I don't even want to cunning wish for anything really. I also have to take out something. We're taking out a pierce. Oh, don't get me started on Hoogland. Uh it's not horrible, it's just like super one-dimensional, the sand. Please play something that we can spare pierce so we can start growing our dick. <laughs> I just, I didn't say that, did I? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Draw a treasure cruise spoiler threat. Unplayable Chang. Visions of Beyond is more playable than Treasure Cruise. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, Forster, I'm just hanging out here until Caleb comes back. Like, I found the key and I knew where he lived, so I went to his apartment and I'm guarding it. Because I was I was thinking that maybe he, he even lost more keys. And that would be pretty bad. So I'm just sitting here making sure that nobody else comes in and steals his shit. So, all in on, on the omniscience. And we got there. Which is pretty cool. So, Cunning Wish. I mean, we could take something for protection, but I'd rather just pick something that's, like, literally good. Aging Texas, yeah, you're welcome. Uh, yeah, I don't want any of those. Ooh, another extra time. Um. Oh, there's an Emerald Cool. This deck is so easy. I'm not gonna slow roll him here. Uh, especially since everything else we have is instant speed. So, even though he got the first Emerald Cool, you get the first extra turn. This deck is so stupid. He said he lost that gamble in the, in the chat. I wanna see what he has. Oh no, I'm not gonna pay 2 life. I'm gonna... No! Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. You can also pay 2 life using omniscience. Oh, he could have also put in a cane laboratory.
or should he, he should have definitely definitely put a laboratory there. Like we had the solution in in um, where is it? Dig through time, and if he goes for something, we have uh, force of fell, and he can't counter back. So he would have still won. But I mean, yeah. Don't forget to draw a mustache on Chandra. Where's Chandra? <laughs> sure, Danny. Yeah, growing the dick and definitely putting it in. Yeah, this is PG-13. No, I, I'm not familiar with the rating systems in the US. This is probably like one of those M for mature or R for, I don't know, P for porn. <laughs> I really don't know how your systems work. <laughs> 